Yo, what's up? My name is Flocka, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build these gorgeous rock walls that you're going to be able to put around anything in LEGO Fortnite using a few different materials, as well as a bonus wall and a royal garden. So stay tuned, smack that like button, and let's get right into the video. And we're going to start with the granite wall. Now, to do this fully, it does require the daily bugle set, but there are these Tatooine fence ones. They do have the check mark up in the corner, but it's from the Star Wars Lego Pass, so there's a good chance that these might be free. You can also use the castle thin floors, although you're going to have that brown strip on the bottom. If you are going to do a granite wall free to play, you're just going to have to use the actual 4x4s to texture. But I'm going to show you how to do it with the friendly neighborhood, so I'm going to start off by grabbing some pieces that I need and it really can be everything. If you're in survival and you want some of these larger foundation pieces, you can actually go in and turn knowledge off on your world. Now this will make it a custom world, but it's gonna allow you to place these larger foundation pieces and save yourself some memory. And with the amount of detail that goes onto these walls, it's kind of necessary. So we'll start off by making a granite wall and we wanna make sure that not all of these are the exact same height. Now with this four by four by eight, I can't get any lower than this, but you can always just take the four by four by two and you can start your next portion of wall at any height you'd like, taking foundations underneath. And if you snap with your cursor right below, you should be able to place one underneath like that to fill it in. I decided to add a little bit of flair just to show you guys. Now to get any texture piece onto the wall, we're just gonna use pressure plates anywhere that I wanna place one, but you only need one per side. So this one juts out a little bit. So we're not gonna be able to place floor pieces over here. So we went ahead and threw one down there and right here. I'm gonna grab this rough gains floor from the friendly neighborhood set. Uh, you can take literally any length. So we're gonna go with the eight by two and we're gonna go over to the edge here and we're gonna place one, uh, maybe the first ones all the way up. So we gotta finish it off on the bottom and maybe this one is down a little bit and then we're gonna stack one on top and we can actually nudge it down so that it's not even with anything. I really think just making sure that none of these pieces end in the same spot is an easy way to create custom texture. You don't even really have to think about it or plan out the pieces that well. It's all up to you how much detail is on each wall, if the entire wall is gonna have it going the whole way down or if you're gonna put some space in between each texture piece. Example, not a great one, but an example. There's like a one stud slit in between where this rock texture starts and where this rock texture starts. Now, like I said, you can do this without the friendly neighborhood pieces. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit thicker. So it'll be, it'll be layered. It'll just have to be a little bit thicker. Now there's actually one more detail that you can put on this to smooth it in and out. The Gainsborough floor, that all gray floor, the four by four version is going to look perfect on top of those pillars highly encourage adding the zesty fern planter to any wall design and it really does help with this version but here you go the granite wall and when you put it all together or around maybe one of your builds this is what it's going to look like as a whole but now let's move on to the next one which i'm pretty positive uses free to play pieces but i could be wrong to build this one we're going to go into walls and you could even go to filter first and go straight to salty seaport. What we're gonna be grabbing is the smaller ones, the half walls, more specifically, the two by four by six, which does not have a check mark in the corner. Everything else except for this large stone half wall has a check mark. For the texture one, you're varying the heights using the previous pieces as a means to find your desired height with each piece. And you just wanna make sure that you're mixing it up nice. There is some free to play trim that you can use. The Salty Stone Battlement, the two by four by four. Not gonna lie, does create a nice top wall. But we're also gonna take the top layer off of this wall here and add them to this. Now I didn't do this exactly for the example, that I showed with the garden. Sometimes I like to upgrade mid tutorial. You're welcome. Although this could be preference if you do enjoy this look, definitely go ahead and skip putting these on. Either way, let's go to the salty stone half wall and I'm gonna put in a few of these at different heights. One there and then we're gonna put in another layer right here. Now on one depth of the wall, we need to get one pressure plate 
and on the other depth of the wall we need to get another pressure plate now there's a couple floors you can use if this isn't true now but i believe that one of these floors is actually on the free to play track these moise isley thin floors the salty seaport floor also works but it looks like those are also pay to play the tomato temple zesty thin floor can be used as a nice go-to it's going to be slightly a different color but that's still a nice blend for the wall i believe those are free to play even though there's a check mark the pleasant park Basic wood floor will also work, but it's got that light tan line on the bottom. It does match up with some of the stuff that you're seeing on the salty seaport wall. But yeah, for the demo, I'm going to use the Moise Isley floor. Now, I'm not sure which one might be free to play if I had to guess, if at all. But it doesn't matter because you can nudge this wherever you want. So, I'm just going to take my floor. And I'm going to start placing my pieces. Once I have one down on the wall... I can go ahead and get rid of the pressure plate because now I can just use this piece to finish the job. So that's what I'm gonna do. Placing those floor pieces on top of each other, making sure that the heights are different and that when we move to the next level, we're always moving inwards. So you're not seeing me place these pieces on the edge. To, re to create that texture, you have to create space. So now I just kinda wanna fill this in with floor pieces until it looks the way that I'd like it to look. This other side, I didn't place one of those plates, but I can use the wall that was already lined up and the pieces that were placed over there in order to nudge a piece into place where I want it. But there we go. That looks amazing. And when we go over to look at the final example, you can see what it looks like in action surrounding this plant garden right here. And like I said, don't be scared, guys. Mix it up. Don't feel like you have to add those top pieces. Don't feel like you have to add all of these pieces. Do whatever works best for you. That being said, let's move on to the third style of wall, which is very interesting. We're going to be using the tomato temple. It's a roof piece, I believe. Yes, the Zesty Roof 1 8x4x4 is what we're going to be building our next wall out of. And this one is super easy, guys. It's just like Lincoln Logs. So, one block is pointing that way, one block is pointing this way. And then you just keep doing that same thing until you want to be done. On the next level, make sure that half of the block is hanging over. And you're going to go opposite, just like this. And when you're done, you're going to have a beautiful tomato temple wall. Now, I went ahead and added some extra plants to this because I really like how the yellow pops on the red wall as well. And when you go over here to look at the live example of it surrounding a garden, you see how gorgeous it really is when in use. So those are the three main walls that I wanted to show you guys today. Now, there is one more free to play option that I'm going to hook you up with. So make sure you smack that like button because this was an unplanned demonstration. But for all my free to players out there, go ahead and grab the wood foundation and go ahead and stack that up for your wall. Make sure you're using the same rules that we've been using the entire time. Now, this one's super easy, you guys. You're going to need the Sugi floors, the 4x4, as well as any one of the 12x2, 8x2, or 6x2 pieces. So we're gonna grab the 8x2, and then obviously we're gonna throw a pressure plate here. So let's go into toys, controls, pressure plate. Place that down, Sugi thin floor. We'll just place one there. And we'll start doing our layering thing. If you want to add a little bit more detail, you could always go and grab that rustic floor too, you know, and start sprinkling those in there. Obviously, uh, I didn't show you on the other side, but show you what that would look like a little bit, you know, with a little extra color. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of the pressure plate and I'm going to put the floors up top, the 4x4, four four, so smoothing it out, kind of like the granite. And there you have it, the same exact thing with the wood as well, using free-to-play parts. Obviously, I'm going to go in and add my plants where I'd like to. And there we go. One, two, three, and four different gorgeous 
wall combinations that you can do to detail your Lego Fortnite world. But oh wait, there's more. I want to leave you with a fifth little treat here. I just call it a simple royal tree garden using the gold trim around the plants. The one I'm going to show you how to make is a little bit flashier. There's a little more gold, but here's how it's done. We want to use the saucy trim corner, this nice, beautiful looking square. We're going to start off by placing these side by side as far as we'd like. So let's go, let's go with six plants. Now you're not going to be able to place a soil plot on top of these, but I'll be taking any four by four floor and tossing it in this little gap here. And then taking my garden plot and placing one on top of each floor. We got to go back to the roof pieces. We're going to start by grabbing the biggest one, the two by 16 by two. We're going to line it up with the edge so that the tan floor piece is kind of lined up with that little gap there. So that might take a little bit of practice, but you're going to want to do both sides first. So being very careful, you're actually able to nudge it into place. You can go ahead and put it up if you want. It doesn't really matter, but make sure you fill in this gap. We're going to use saucy trim one to create some sort of step effect here. Now, if you want, you could actually get rid of this middle here. And depending on what your garden's gonna look like, you can always extend it out. So we'll add six more just like this. We'll actually put our garden plots on the outside edge. But I still wanna fill in the middle here to kind of give me some sort of custom walkway. Now let's get those soil plots in. We need to fill in the remaining roof pieces. So using pieces like the trim corner and some of these other dimensioned saucy trims, we're going to get this done here. Okay. I went ahead and put log poles all the way around. I had to make sure that they were even because I built this on uneven ground. But now I wanna add the Nana roof leaf to each side. So on the long sides, I'm going to snap back corner is kind of what I'm gonna try to do, but it might not let me the way that I want. So what I'll do is do the two opposite corners first. And we're gonna figure out how much roof we need to get over the center. Looks like one 16 by eight by six. And we can add the other Nana leaf roof just like that. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and finish this off quick. You might not have this piece, but if you do go ahead and use the city skylight, that should be a part of the friendly neighborhood set. If you have that one, if not, go ahead and just put some floor pieces on top here and cover it up or put any sort of roof topper that you might want. I'm going to cover it up with the city skylight with just some floor pieces on the sides like this. And there you have it. A little royal tree garden. So now you have so many different options to improve your Lego Fortnite world. Well, maybe. I hope I was able to help today. I'd also really like to know which wall variation is your favorite and why. So hit me up, guys. Don't forget to smack that like button on the video. Take it easy and I will see you in the next one.